एवरीवन हाउ आर यू टुडे आई एम डॉक्टर परमजीत एंड यू आर वाचिंग डॉक्टर एजुकेशन दिस इज न्यूट्रिशन फिटनेस एंड न्यूट्रिशन एंड यू हैव ऑलरेडी वॉच्ड वीडियोस ऑफ साइंस ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इन दिस चैनल एंड आई होप यू हैव एंजॉयड द वीडियोस नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो इज अबाउट फाइटिक एसिड नाउ वॉट इज फाइटिक एसिड एंड वाई पीपल कॉल इट एज एन एंटाई न्यूट्रियट इज इट बैड फॉर यू should you try and remove it from the animal from the plant food sources by uh, doing something right there are so many wrong information about this for this particular topic that it's important for you to understand see all the food grains all the legumes the tubers the roots and even the seeds have this phytic acid as well as fiber inside and this phytic acid is the main uh, storage of uh, phosphorus in them right it 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 stores phosphorus the phytic acid is important for that particular grain that that particular plant food product also because it protects this product from rusting because it protects it protects it from anti it's a antioxidant protects from oxidation right it's basically a natural preservative for that particular food product that's why god made it and in the process of cooking as well as eating it your body can digest it but to a certain extent second the problem is these this phytic acid has a little of little bit chelation property that any bivalent metallic ion any metallic ion which has two valencies like calcium which has plus plus two iron potassium magnesium manganese or zinc this is the limited uh, limited ions these ions can actually uh, form salts or uh, with this phytic acid and may not get absorbed to some extent so they will decrease the absorption of these ions it does not block the absorption completely right so the absorption will be decreased to some extent number 1 that's why it is called anti nutrient that's why it's basically uh, people ask you to do something to your food so that these phytic acid gets decreased so what do you do you do milking or soaking or sprouting or germination of your food products and you think that all the phytic acid is gone but no phytic acid is not just present in the outer covering of that product uh, not just present in the outer covering of almond it's inside also so outer covering has the most amount but it's not the only thing remember so you just take over 20% of phytic acid by the outer covering not the entire one and even after soaking it or germination you just take away 2/3 or 40 50% of it nothing more than that so phytic acid is still present in the food even after cooking and heat has a very minor effect on phytic acid number one and secondly remember phytic acid has no effect on the vitamins or the proteins of the food it's only anti nutrient or a chelation effect is on bivalent metallic ions so you might have a little bit of trace mineral deficiency only if you are not consuming good amount of high uh, products products good amount of products high in these things like iron and calcium which are high in uh, soy uh, you have lentils all the green leafy vegetables spinach milk dairy products right magnesium and zinc is very high in animal products or dairy products right you need to eat these things so potassium is very high in fruits in potato in vegetables so you have to treat you have to eat a lot of these things that's why you need to have a balanced diet so if you eat in a balanced diet your you don't have a problem right but the good thing is that phytic acid is good when it goes inside you as well it also acts as an antioxidant inside your body it also acts and protects you in many forms the most biggest thing is that it actually increases something called as myo inositol inside your body and this myo inositol in turn increases your insulin secretion increases your insulin sensitivity so decreases insulin resistance and it also decreases the amylase enzyme from your pancreas so this can give you a better control in diabetes can give you a very good control in diabetes help you so that's why eating vegetables is good for diabetes or uh, grains or lentils is good for diabetes then that's why 
eating processed food processed any kind of processed uh, uh, food which is made from these grains they lose a lot of fiber uh, of the, uh, these phytic acid that's why they are not good right that's why maida or any kind of biscuit is not so good because they don't have so much phytic acid then this phytic acid actually protects your heart also your pro it protects it decreases your cholesterol levels it decreases the fat it helps in fatty liver also it decreases the tri triglyceride as well as your weight as well as inhibits the platelet form plaque plaque formation platelet aggregation everything these things are inhibited it has been proven in a various researches during the course of studies 2013 research is also present in pubmed you can go and you can have a look yourself as well then it also decreases inflammation age related aortic uh, calcifications are decreased and even iron related uh, uh, you know iron generated uh, free radicals are also decreased in your body so free radical injuries also so that's why also it acts as a antioxidant lipid uh, lipid metabolism lipid peroxidation is decreased which is the basic reason for cholesterol deposits in the plaque formation right and biggest reason one of the biggest reason it also decreases your cancer chances it it is it increases prevention of cancer so what else is needed you know so it's a good thing it's not bad to eat phytate phytates or phytic acid so you don't need to germinate or soak every single grain or every single lentil right some of the lentils are hard to cook and that's why people soak them for a few hours so that it's easier to cook them right that's a different uh, that's a different reason but not for removing the phytates so be assured phytates are not bad phytic acid is not bad for you all you need to do is eat more food which are high in metallic ions calcium zinc magnesium uh, then manganese potassium so iron this is important to understand that's why balancing your diet is important i hope this video was helpful if it is then do give me a big thumbs up and share this video all over across your social bye bye